Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Masala Chai and Chess with Nisha. Yes, it has been a long long time since I last recorded a Masala Chai episode. But today is a special day so I thought let me do it again. Today is the birthday of India's pride, woman grandmaster Vaishali who is the elder sister of Pragnananda another pride of india so both the siblings need no introduction they are you know the pride of india who have brought so many laurels for our country and they are also both the future of india vaishali is uh, as i said a woman grandmaster she has won world youth uh, championships uh, under 14 under 12 Uh, she was part of gold winning uh, you know indian team in the online uh, asian nations cup etc 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 uh, you know everywhere basically she has been doing very well recently i'm not going to spend time uh, telling about her achievements all i can say is she is going to be the face of indian women chess so let's get started with her games but before that just one thing i want to mention is that you know we all spend a lot of time on chess openings and uh what i feel is uh more time should be given to chess tactics as they say chess is 99% tactics and to the games of vaishali i want to show to you all that yes it is very true and uh, we must pay a lot of attention to chess tactics so let's get started with your cup of positivity in this game white is vaishali and black is anastasia bodnaruk uh, and this was played in a blitz event so before we go into the games of vaishali one thing i want to uh, tell you is that vaishali uh, is a very a sharp player she has a very strong tactical eye and uh, she she can really go for the opponent's king so you know the opponents really have to take care of their kings otherwise they can land in real real trouble so in this game as you can see um virtually is a piece down i purposely started uh, you know by choosing this position because you know as i said um, more than the openings uh, which we worry about a lot uh we should you know spend a lot of time studying chess tactics uh, and uh, in most important games in uh, most of the games of strong players the results are decided by tactics i mean of strong players as well as everybody else the games are decided by tactics so i think we should pay very good attention uh, to tactics so for example here as you see uh white is a piece down but the opponent uh, who was in a check played queen c5 and can you spot the move for white here it's simple uh, but it is very sweet it is very effective and uh, knowing the fact that it's a blitz game it's being very alert here vaishali played the brilliant move rook c1 and the point is that uh, the queen cannot be taken on a3 uh if black takes the queen there is a checkmate with rook c8 so after rook c1 uh nothing can be done about the queen on c5 so black resigned in this position if knight c2 there is rook into c2 and still there is this threat of rook into c5 so very alert uh tactics by vaishali this position is black to play and black played the move queen c8 here it's white's move now white is vaishali black is uh, munk zul turmunk and this was also from a blitz game and you must see how sharp and tactically alert vaishali is even in blitz as i mentioned earlier she played the move knight f6 finished off the opponent in style and the point is this knight cannot be left because after king h8 as you see there is a mate on h7 so black has to take g into f6 but after this rook g3 check suddenly the king has no defense king h8 queen f6 check king h7 queen g7 very very tactically alert in this game it's white to play here white is vaishali 
Black is Priyanka Nutaki. This was played in the Aeroflot Open in Moscow in 2020. Uh, one of the last tournaments uh, many people played uh, before you know COVID uh, lockdown and etc started. So here Vaishali finished off the game in style with f6. She went for the attack. She's threatening f7. So opponent took g into f6 and here came another shot bishop into h7 i really like uh, you know players who are able to you know break through opponents king side so bishop h7 king h7 queen h5 check king g8 queen g6 check and here um, king f8 was played if instead uh, if king h8 there is rook f3 with a threat of rook h3 after e5 you can go rook g3 with lot of mating threats so uh, in the game after queen g6 check black played king f8 and there came a very nice move queen h7 just stopping the king's escape and now white has a very strong thread bishop h6 checkmate uh, so for example as you see bishop d7 there is bishop h6 checkmate or instead after queen h7 if black goes rook e7 and there follows uh, mate in two, yeah, with queen h8, king f7, rook f6, checkmate. So I just like the flow of the game in this one. Just um, it came very smooth, I would say. In this position, it is black to play, and black played queen g5 here. White is Vaishali, and black is Karina. Uh, and this was also played in a blitz event uh, in chess.com recently. And here um, again, let's have a look at the alertness. Uh, Vaishali played queen into g5, h into g5, and there came knight g6. So you see this pawn on f7 is pinned, so it cannot take the knight. And after uh, you move the rook, there is always bishop f7 check. And I mean, many moves are good here. For example, maybe rook f5, you attack this, it's a great position. So after knight g6, black thought, okay, let me just play knight d8 and not give away the f7 pawn, which is essential for the defense of the king. And here, what we would all do, we would think of a move like knight f8 or something, especially when we are playing a blitz game. But Vaishali found a very nice move here. She played rook f3. And uh, after bishop d5 mm. she got a very pretty mate with knight e7 king h7 rook h3 these you know are the positions we solve uh, when we are you know doing puzzles and all but to get in one's own game it's very nice especially if you're getting it in blitz also uh, there's one variation here after rook f3 instead of bishop d5 for example if he goes rook e8 then you can simply play rook h3 and the point is the mate on h8 cannot be stopped. Bishop d5, rook h8, mate. So uh, the final position in her game was, as you saw, very pretty mate, very nice. This is a position white to play. So the ones who are solving the positions can think here uh, for you know white what is possible. You have to think um, a little bit out of the box here while I give little briefing on this game. So this is a game uh, Vaishali versus Asubayeva, uh, Bibi Sara. And this was also played in a blitz uh, tournament in chess.com online last month. And um, this is a case of missed win, but uh, I must be honest guys, uh, this is not at all easy to spot. So I, at first, you know, I was thinking whether I should omit uh, this position but it is so pretty it is so so pretty uh, the win is so nice that I could not uh, stop myself from showing it to all of you so for people who like to solve positions this is a very pretty win from here white to play and win and uh, I'm sure if this would be a classical game or even a rapid game uh, Vaishali would have definitely you know her tactical eye would have spotted this idea uh, it can be difficult for some of us but she doesn't miss this kind of tactics normally but of course in blitz um, it's not at all easy not at all so i just want to show you the beauty the beauty of this position why to play here uh, the beauty lies in the move 
queen sacrifice with queen into f7 so pretty uh, bishop into f7 bishop f7 king has only one square king e7 i mean look at how beautifully she has already placed her pieces that such kind of combinations are even possible bishop g5 check king f8 everything is forced here that's also very beautiful bishop e6 king has to go it cannot go to e8 as you see after king e8 there is a mate in one with bishop d7 so after bishop e6 check the king has to go to g7 and there, there comes rook f7 king h8 bishop f6 check rook g7 bishop into g7 king g8 move away the rook anywhere for example rook e7 and some weight what a pretty mate we all have to you know be so alert in tactics um, i especially like this uh, uh, this possibility in this game a uh, very nice idea of queen into f7 chess is beautiful chess is really beautiful you just have to you know enjoy this beauty till now i have been showing small small tactics here and there and vaishali will be you know if she watches this she'll be thinking why am i even showing such easy tactics so basically i was showing uh, those tactics for the interest of my viewers who will be able to solve it but for vaishali it will be like you know child's play but the game i'm going to show to you now is really the one is one of the ones of course like vaishali has many such gems but this will be one of those vaishali definitely will be proud of uh, i mean she has played uh this game really beautifully so this was played uh first of all i'll tell you who is to play so that the ones who want to think can think here it's right to play here it's um it's a very fascinating uh sequence of moves which vaishali played from here i really like it and um, this tournament was uh, the national team championship this was my last uh on the board event i played this was in the year 2020 and uh, vaishali is white she was representing the tamil nadu team and uh, she was playing against my teammate somya swaminathan uh, you all know her she is a woman grandmaster very um, strong player very uh, famous streamer and um, uh, the scheme was uh, of course uh, uh, you know it started with sicilian both the players are attacking in style so it is uh, very nice to see how it goes and here um, in this position can you find the move for vaishali i'll set masala chai and give you a moment of pause you know i'll pause for a minute and give you a time to think what did vaishali play here Okay, so she played the move bishop e6. So what is she doing? That's the main question. We'll 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 come to it soon. Black took f into e6. She's attacking the f7 pawn as you notice, but there is definitely a bigger threat. So opponent took f into e6. For those of you who did not find the first move. I'll give you a minute again, uh, probably my second masala chai moment, to think why did Vaishali just give up uh, the bishop on e6? What was the point? So here, Vaishali played a queen sacrifice, queen into f4, and as you see now that uh, this. is a beautiful move and the point is the queen cannot be captured back because after e into f4 there is rook h3 it's a mate after queen h4 rook into h4 so after queen into f4 as you see a very strong thread sorry uh rook h3 is there so black played rook e8 here making space for the king on g8 and here uh, vaishali played queen f7 not allowing the king to go away to g8 black took e into d5 the main idea behind black's move is he also gets rook at 6 to cover up his king vaishali went ahead with rook g1 you have to bring all your pieces in the attack she's threatening a mate 
with queen into g7. Samya played rook e7, defending her g7 pawn. Rook h3 check. Rook h6. You can keep pausing whenever you want because uh, literally every move is worth pausing. Rook into h6, g into h6. Queen f6 check. King h7, the only way. And uh, here came another nice move, pretty move. Rook g7. Beautiful. Black mistake. And she got queen d8 and she won in 2-3 moves more. Yes. Um, but a very, very, this was a very fascinating game. Very beautiful game. Starting with bishop e6. She really has an eye for you know tactics and how to go towards opponent's king uh, very uh, very nice example takes takes queen f4 lovely idea and also the finish uh, the ultimate finish towards the end is also very pretty rook g7 here very nice victory by Vaishali so I was very happy very happy uh, to see this game I hope you all now have an answer to the question why shall I study chess tactics? See the games of Vaishali and you realize why we should all study chess tactics. I just thought of using the pun which uh, Anish had made, uh, you know, some uh, you know, joke about it, Vaishali. And I was thinking, yes, why shall I study chess tactics? And see the games of Vaishali and you get the answer that you have to be alert and very important um, to be sharp and to be alert in a game. That's what matters the most. Wishing Vaishali a very, very happy birthday and lots of success in her life. She is the future of Indian chess and I wish her the very best in her life. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. See you all soon. Bye-bye.